and in the sixth year of the third week of the 49th Jubilee, you did depart and dwell in the land of Midian, five weeks and one year. And you did return into Mitzrayim in the second week, in the second year, in the 50th Jubilee. And you yourself know what he spoke unto you on Mount Sinai, and what Prince Mastima desired to do with you when you were returning into Mitzrayim. Did he not with all his power seek to slay you and deliver the Mitzrayim out of your hand when he saw that you were sent to execute judgment and vengeance on the Mitzrayim? And I delivered you out of his hand, and you did perform the signs and wonders which you were sent to perform in Mitzrayim against Pharaoh and against all his house and against his servants and his people. And Yahuwah executed a great vengeance on them for Yasharal's sake, and smote them through the plagues of blood and frogs, lice and dog flies, and malignant boils breaking forth in blames, and their cattle by death, and by hailstones, thereby he destroyed everything that grew for them, and by locusts which devoured the remnant which had been left by the hail, and by darkness, and by the death of the firstborn of men and animals. And on all their idols, Yahuwah took vengeance and burned them with fire. And everything was sent through your hand, that you should declare these things before they were done. And you did speak with the king of Mitzrayim before all his servants and before his people. And everything took place according to your words. Ten great and terrible judgments came on the land of Mitzrayim that you might execute vengeance on it for Yasharel. And Yahuwah did everything for Yasharel's sake and according to his covenant, which he had ordained with Avraham that he would take vengeance on them as they had brought them by force into bondage. And the prince Mastima stood up against you and sought to cast you into the hands of Pharaoh, and he helped the Mitzri sorcerers. And they stood up and wrought before you the evils indeed we permitted them to work, but the remedies we did not allow to be wrought by their hands. And Yahuwah smote them with malignant ulcers, and they were not able to stand, for we destroyed them so that they could not perform a single sign. And notwithstanding all these signs and wonders, the Prince Mastima was not put to shame because he took courage and cried to the Mitzrayim to pursue after you with all the powers of the Mitzrayim, with their chariots and with their horses and with all the hosts of the peoples of Mitzrayim. And I stood between the Mitzrayim and Yasharal, and we delivered Yasharal out of his hand and out of the hand of his people. And Yahuwah brought them through the midst of the sea as it were dry land. And all the peoples whom he brought to pursue after Yasharal, Yahuwah Aloheinu, cast them into the midst of the sea, into the depths of the abyss beneath the children of Yasharal, even as the people of Mitzrayim had cast their children into the river he took vengeance on one million of them and 1,000 strong and energetic men were destroyed on account of one suckling of the child of your people, which they had thrown into the river. And on the 14th day, and on the 15th, and on the 16th, and on the 17th, and on the 18th, the Prince Mastima was bound and imprisoned behind the children of Yasharal, that he might not accuse them. And on the 19th, we let them loose that they might help the Mitzrayim and pursue the children of Yasharal. And he hardened their hearts and made them stubborn. And the device was devised by Yahuwah Aloheinu, that he might smite the Mitzrayim and cast them into the sea. And on the 14th, we bound him that he might not accuse the children of Yasharal on the day when they asked the Mitzrayim for vessels and garments, vessels of silver, and vessels of gold, and vessels of bronze, 
in order to despoil the Mitzrayim in return for the bondage in which they had forced them to serve. And we did not lead forth the children of Yasharal from Mitzrayim empty-handed. 